Hello everybody, welcome to bestunder.in and today we bring you the best laptops under rupees 25,000. Yes, you heard it, low budget laptops under rupees 25,000. Talking about low budget laptops, especially under this price range, may seem like you have to go through a lot of compromise. But believe us, we are here again to surprise and amaze you. Laptops at this price range usually contain a very basic configuration like Intel Core i3 5th generation processor or maybe lower, 4 GBs of RAM, 500 GB hard disk, integrated graphics and maybe a free operating system. But again, we are here to surprise you. So let's cancel all of this stuff and start with the amazing and unexpected laptops that we have listed for you. Also note that we have given the best buy links in the description below. But don't forget to check the prices on almost all the shopping websites, especially the new ones as laptop prices are subject to frequent changes and hence you may miss the best deal if you go for only one website. So let's kick off the list with the only Windows 10 laptop with a whooping 6GB of RAM that we have listed Micromax Alpha. This laptop from a fairly new player is a delight to the eyes. The laptop as a whole is more than excellent for the normal user. Sleek in design and equipped with an Core i3 5th gen processor with 6 GB of RAM, this laptop takes you to a whole new level of smart technology. It also features two USB 3.0 ports and 64-bit Windows 10. Priced at around Rs 24,000, this laptop is a must-buy gadget. Another entry with the Core i3 5th gen processor is the Fujitsu Lifebook A555, which surprisingly features 8 GBs of RAM, which at this price range is impossible to find. And as always, here we are with Fujitsu Lifebook, priced at around Rs 24,000. This laptop has integrated graphics and 500 GBs of storage space. The next surprising thing about this laptop is that it features 3 USB 3.0 ports, which is unusual because as of now, laptops generally feature a maximum of two USB 3.0 ports. Love new technology? Well, this one's for you. Now let's say fifth generation processors are done now and are a time of the past era. Well, we've got you covered here also. The latest processors are your thing and we bring you the latest 6th generation i3 processor in our very next laptop that is the Acer ES15. Clocked at 2.3 GHz, this 6th generation i3 processor will take processing and multitasking to a whole new level. Combined with 4GB RAM, Intel integrated graphics, this laptop surely is a treat from Acer. But if you are bored with the first three laptops on our list because they are not high-end gaming supportive, the next two laptops will surely allure you. Both the laptops feature an AMD processor coupled with an entry-level AMD graphics card. So let's kick off the list with the HP Notebook 15 laptop. This laptop features a 2GB AMD R5 series graphics card coupled with 4GB RAM and a 2.2GHz AMD APU quad core a8 processor it has dos pre-installed and hence windows or linux has to be installed also the 500 gb storage space is a little disappointing as every other laptop features one tv of storage nowadays it is priced at around rupees 25000 Last but not the least, we have the Lenovo IdeaPad 110, which also features an AMD A8 processor clocked at 2.5 GHz with 2 GB AMD graphics card. The best thing about this laptop is the 8 GB RAM and the 1 TB hard drive. Gaming cannot get better than this at this budget range. 
this laptop is definitely one of the best laptops in this range. So to sum up the list, we have to choose the best among these under 25,000 laptops then we definitely choose either the Acer ES15 or the Lenovo IdeaPad. Acer ES15 provides you the best basic laptop with latest technology at this price range and saves the most money, which can be further used to expand its RAM. This way, you will have 6th gen i3 with 8GB of RAM in perfectly rupees 25,000. While on the gaming side, the Lenovo IdeaPad 110 is clocked highly at 2.5 GHz, 8 GB RAM and 2 GB AMD graphics card, all proving its high-end gaming potential. So time to get a new laptop. But before you go, hit the thumbs up button if you find this video helpful and don't forget to share and subscribe. For the next generation Spectre X360, it was really about taking what was already great and making it even more powerful with a smaller footprint. The inspiration behind Spectre can be summarized in a single word, craftsmanship. We wanted to increase performance while reducing any aspect of redundancy and waste. And what we ended up with is a virtually portalist micro-edge display. The Spectre X360 is a sophisticated PC that delivers four different modes in one impressively thin design. It is as versatile as it is beautiful. The slim, carved aluminum chassis was sculpted from a solid block of metal for a more refined aesthetic. And the 360 geared hinge is encased in stainless steel to provide long-lasting stability in all four modes, allowing effortless transitions between high-performance laptop, sophisticated presentation tool, awe-inspiring multimedia display, and a Windows Ink certified tablet with quality you can feel. We've upgraded to a powerful 7th generation Intel Core i7 processor and added hyperbaric cooling to optimize thermals and deliver even better performance than before. And with PCIe solid state drive options up to one terabyte, the Spectre X360 starts up in seconds to access files faster than ever. It was critical that this level of performance was balanced with equally powerful reliability to keep up with you throughout the day. With up to 12.4 hours of battery life, an HP fast charge that gives you up to 50% charge in just 30 minutes, you can spend more time doing what you love and less time searching for an outlet. We wanted to make sure the experience was as captivating as the device itself. The nearly borderless micro-edge display is now powered by discrete graphics and audio by Bang & Olsen. The new Spectre X360 doesn't just grab your attention, it holds it for what is truly a remarkable cinematic experience. We've taken every opportunity to enhance the user experience. Windows makes sketching and taking notes as quick and natural as using a sheet of paper. Office apps compatibility simplifies editing and collaborating down to a single tap. The brilliantly crafted and outstandingly advanced Spectre X360 raises the bar for design and innovation in personal devices. Gaming laptop category, the big beasts like this Alienware 17 R4 that we recently reviewed. This one weighs 10 pounds. Uh, typically, these are going to weigh anywhere from 8.5 to 10 pounds. They're going to have 17-inch displays and run cooler and quieter than anything else. And we're going to look at ones that are around $2,000, well, starting around $1,500, $1,600 going up. You can configure them a little bit nicer, but not the super expensive boutique ones here at the moment. Surprisingly, my top pick is the Alienware 17 R4. They used to be awful expensive relative to other brands for what you got for the money, but that's not the case. In fact, sometimes they're less expensive, which is always nice. But the build quality is certainly above most of what MSI and ASUS are offering right now. Those tend to look a little bit a little more plasticky. This thing is built like a tank, yet it's skinny. And there's a lot of display options on these. You can get Optimus, or you can get G-Sync, you can get fast refresh, 120 hertz panels on the display. You've got all of these machines we're talking about here have Core i7-6700 HQ 
CPUs, 2.6 gigahertz, and they all offer options for the overclockable 6820HK if you want it. And we're looking at your choice here of GTX 1060, 1070, or even 1080 cards. So Dell's scale of manufacture really helps Alienware offer something for just about everybody in terms of configuration. Starts around 1500, you can work your way up. The desirable configurations are around 1800, but you'll find them on sale for less than that too. Another thing that sets the Alienware apart is one of the few 17-inch gaming laptops that has an option for NVIDIA Optimus switchable graphics with Intel HD integrated graphics. So you can get like six hours with a 99 watt hour battery, which for a 17-inch gaming laptop is miraculous, where the category average is often more like three or maybe four. Next up, the MSI GT72 VR Dominator. We reviewed this one recently as well, and now the one that replaces the old Dominator really is more like the low-end Titan, not Titan Pro model. It gets a little confusing, but if you want the overclockable CPU option, that sort of thing, then you're looking at the Titan model. But talking about the, the, the Dominator line, this one is a lot thicker, okay? It's not heavier, though. It's actually lighter than the Alienware. What this gets you is actually a slightly quieter running laptop. So for those of you who really hate noise, for example, the Alienware, you know, has pretty decent amount of fan noise. It's not Screamer, but it's there. This one is going to run quieter. It's not going to run any cooler in terms of your CPU and GPU temperatures, but there's that. Again, the same Core i7 options here, and you can get this with GTX 1060 and 1070 graphics inside. The price runs around 1900 bucks, and if you want to move up to the Titan, which gets you the hardware switch to go between integrated and dedicated graphics, a couple of other bells and whistles, that overclockable GPU, and you're looking around $2,100. All in all, you got metal lid, you have a metal keyboard deck. It doesn't look that like ultra classy, but it has, you know, the MSI sort of understated look. Other than this logo, which you could cover over, you might be able to take it to work. There's some red accents, but you know, hey, it's a really solid performer and it's a cool runner though. Next up, for something a little bit different, there's the Origin E on 17X. Origin laptops are for those of you who want a boutique builder, but not with really insane prices. They're not cheap, but they're not like, oh my God, you know, $5,000 either. You can do some crazy wonderful stuff, like put a desktop CPU in your laptop and go all the way up to the GTX 1080. For example, the one that we reviewed, GTX 1080 inside. So, uh, kind of a unique look. It's it's somewhat chunky, but you know, it is loud though. I'll tell you that. The fans on that are loud, but that's because we were pushing some crazy high-end specs in our model. Lastly, there's the ASUS Rogue, the G752 VR. It's a nice machine, but it's funny how ASUS lately with, with that line has tended to be a bit more expensive than MSI and Alienware without offering a whole lot more. What a price is no object. Well, there's that Razer Blade Pro that's just coming out right now. It starts at $3,700 and goes up from there, though. Ay, 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 ay. But if you got the money, it's up to you if you want to want to spend it. You're going to get really slim, light, good-looking build, just like the Razer Blades that we have reviewed. That black aluminum body is really striking-looking. You even have an integrated trackpad. I find that a little bit kind of a dubious feature there, but you get the GTX 1080 in there and the usual quad-core i7 CPU inside. It's... Uh, it's powerful and it's the slimmest and the lightest you're going to ever, probably ever find with the GTX 1080 inside. Also has beautiful displays, by the way, with very wide color gamut. Next category, the most portable true gaming laptop. Okay, there's always people in the comments who say, my 13-inch Ultrabook with integrated graphics plays game X and it's fine. You know, yes, older titles, you can do that if you set your... Resolution down to 720p, you're okay with really low frame rates and stuff. So for this video, we're talking about the true gaming laptops with some decent, really decent dedicated graphics inside to take you up to the, the next level, the serious level for gaming. So that in mind, we're not talking about Ultrabooks here in the classic sense, but beauty is the beast in this case. The Razer Blade 14 inch with the GTX 1060 inside and Core i7 6700HQ. 14 inches, it might be a little bit small screen size for some of you when you game, you might like a bigger picture, but other than that, it's classy. It's the black MacBook, beautiful aluminum build quality, 4.3 pounds. You can take it to work. Okay, it has that green razor logo on the lid, but you could cover that up. You know, it's, it's an exquisite piece. It is just a 1060. These guys are going to have the 1060 inside, which is still a pretty powerful GPU, a bit less future-proof than the 1070, obviously. 
but you know, there's only so much you can fit in a small chassis, but that one certainly is a stunner. It's expensive though. You know, it starts around 1800 and goes up from there, but you get what you pay for there. It's a well-made machine. It is loud. It does run hot, but not as hot as our next in line, which is the MSI GS63 VR Stealth Pro. That's a 15.6 inch. It's also available in a 17 inch size. The Stealth Pro is crazy slim and light. It's like four pounds for the 15 inch model, yet it's very powerful. And MSI has been making these super slim gamers for several years now. I had the uh, GS60 Ghost Pro that preceded it. And you know, despite the fact that it runs very loud and really hot, I'm talking these, you know, some of them are get toasty. This is like burning hot on the bottom. It, it never died. It never had a problem. So it really survives its, its high temperatures pretty well. And that is going to be the theme for these super thin and lights. They're going to be hot. They're going to be loud. Next up is the most powerful and yet lightweight laptop you can get with a GTX 1070. This one's kind of unique. This is the ASUS Rogue Strix GL502 VS. There's also a VM. We'll talk a little bit about that. But this is a 15.6 inch laptop that weighs a little over five pounds or so, which is remarkable. I mean, this is something for those of you who need to be able to take it on business trips or to the class and you want that level of gaming power that you usually find in a much bigger laptop. It's pretty darn impressive. We have a review of this as well. Like most of the laptops I've talked about, um, it doesn't get that loud or that hot either because it's not super duper thick. Then that really helps a lot with the heat. Price is around $16.99. You'll find it on sale, especially now for the holidays. And there's the VM model with the GTX 1060. If you want to save some money, that's about $12.99 or so. And the difference there is it has one RAM slot instead of two RAM slots here. But ASUS does some nice things to give you fast NVMe SSDs, a good 1080p IPS display with G-Sync on board. Battery life, not so much. G-Sync means no switchable graphics. So it's not going to do that for you, but this is by far the most powerful 15 inch laptop currently on the market. And that segues into the mainstream 15 inch market, which this could also live in, even though it's a lot lighter, but because it has all the ports and bells and whistles that you'd expect of a big 15 inch laptop, if it's there as well. Next up, for those of you who don't mind some more size and some more weight and you want it to run a bit cooler, there's the Alienware 15 R3. That's 7.7 .7 pounds, so it's a pretty heavy laptop. Starts at 1350, but the desirable configurations are around 1600 and up. Lots of ports, lots of dry bays. Again, built like a tank, gets slim there. And the same three display options, like we mentioned on the 17 inch. So you can get it with G Sync if you want, you can get it with Optimus if you want, and you can get that 120 hertz fast refresh panel, you can get 4K even. Then there's the MSI GT62 VR Dominator. This is Honey Who Shrunk the Dominator 17 inch. Now they have one that is a 15.6 inch model. That starts at 1700 bucks, nicely configured. And it's pretty much everything that is in the 17 inch Dominator Pro GT72 VR, only squeezed into a pretty chunky 6.5 pound package. It's not thin, it's not light, but it is still, you know, something you could take with you at six and a half pounds or so good performance as well there. And it's just like its bigger brother. It's available with GTX 1060 or 1070 graphics. And again, all these laptops we're talking about have quad core 45 watt Intel CPUs. By the way, CPUs right now, we're still at Skylake, the quad core next generation, seventh generation KB Lake isn't shipping. That'll probably start in February of 2017, but uh, we have looked at the Ultrabook version of those CPUs, and the performance gains are really pretty modest there. They're a little more power frugal, so I wouldn't really worry too much between Skylake and KB Lake when it comes to these gaming laptops, because the biggest improvement really was integrated graphics performance, which is irrelevant for gaming laptops. Now, for budget gamers, now these still aren't really cheap, though. The HP Omen 15 and 17, we reviewed the HP Omen, build by Fisher Price. It was kind of plasticky, mostly relative to the previous generation Omen that was so classy and chic looking, but you get pretty good specs for your money. Now, when they introduced it with the NVIDIA 9 series graphics, the prices were super duper aggressive. With the 10 series uh, GTX 1060, 1070, the prices are not as aggressive, but still, you'll get better specs for your money there with, with them. You could get a 4K display and other niceties for around 1600 bucks with the GTX 1060, maybe even the 1070, depending on the sales. One nice thing about HP is first couple of months after one of their products comes out, the price is, well, pretty fixed. But then uh, several months later, they start to have really nice discounts everywhere. So if you're not in a rush, you might find it cheaper in a couple of months. Then there's the MSI Apache Pro series, the GE62VR and the GE72VR15 and 17 inch respectively. 
Those run around 1250 to 1350, and they're not as thin and light as the Stealth Pro, but otherwise you're pretty much getting the same machine, other than the fact they use a lower quality display. It's not horrible, but the contrast is weaker on the Apache line. Those come with GTX 1060 graphics. They're, they don't want to push into their higher end territory there, which is still very capable. 1080p display, and the SteelSeries backlit RGB keyboard, and all the little amenities you expect from a nice MSI laptop. Not mentioned here, and here is why, are the Sager and Clevos, which are really pretty much the same thing. Those are essentially rebadged MSI laptops, so if you don't like the MSI logo on there, that sort of thing. Uh, so they get to be a little redundant with the MSI in terms of what you're getting for your money. Also, there's no real U.S. store presence. If you go to a website like Exotic PC that sells gaming laptops, you can find them there, but not much in the way of PR. We never hear from them, so... That's why we're not really talking about them. And then there's Aorus and Gigabyte. Aorus makes some pretty impressive laptops. If you're willing to spend a little bit more, for 2400 bucks, you can get a 17 inch with a 6820 HK CPU and a GTX 1070. Seven pound, 15 inch package. That's the X7 V6 model. They even have a $2,000 14 inch four pounder with the same CPU and GPU as that's in the X3 Plus line. So those are pretty neat, but again, not much of a U.S. presence. Don't find them in stores. Don't hear from their PR folks. Then, back to the budget gamer idea, there's the Dell Inspiron 7559 Gamer. We reviewed that. That is GTX 9 series graphics. If you really want to save some money, those should be getting some really hefty discounts because the 10 series cards should be coming out imminently. And that one gives you really a lot of bang for the buck, too. So there you have it, different sizes, different budgets, and well, none of these are absolutely cheap. Which brings in one point, if you just don't, you know, a lot of you ask me, I want a gaming laptop for $1,000, and you know, the cost of entry really is higher than that. But there are some ways around it. You can get something that's been refurbished for starters. And then, you know, even though in my What Laptop to Buy video I said, don't get something that's not GTX 10 series, well, there's an exception. If it's your first laptop, you don't have much money, you can get something with a GTX 970 or 980, that's the last generation. Granted, it's not going to be as powerful, but it's still going to be powerful enough to play today's AA titles at, at high settings, and that's fine. And so be on the lookout for those. You can find some deals, too, $1,000 and under, just by going for last generation graphics models. I'm Lisa from Mobile Tech Review. Be sure to visit our website for a whole lot of reviews, obviously our YouTube channel, and thumbs up if you liked it. For CES this year, Dell has a lot of hardware refreshes and a few new surprises. The star of the show is the new XPS 2-in-1, a convertible version of one of our favorite Dell laptops. And if you were wondering, yes, it does continue the XPS lineup's near bezel-less design around its Quad HD Plus screen. It's a bit thinner than the standard XPS 13, and its fanless design should make it quieter and more tablet-like when you want to veg and watch Netflix in bed. Like many convertible laptops, the screen can be bent all the way around so you can have it in two tenth modes or have the keyboard folded completely on the back. The XPS 13 2-in-1 has two USB-C ports, one of which is Thunderbolt 3.0 compatible. It's powered by Intel's 7th gen core processors and can hold up to 16GB of RAM and up to a 1TB solid state drive. I only had a bit of time to test it out, but the new XPS 13 felt every bit as sturdy and premium as its predecessors. I'll definitely have to use the keyboard more to judge it though. You'll be able to get your hands on this new convertible on January 5th starting at $1000. Dell already brought over Intel's new processor lineup to the XPS 13 in September, but today it's also announcing that the larger XPS 15 will also get the chips. When it comes to gaming machines, Dell also announced at CES that its recent Alienware lineup will be getting 7th gen Intel chips soon. And if you're on a budget, the 15-inch Inspiron 7000 is also getting a facelift, with some slicker lighting and hardware bumps across the board. It's also getting Intel's new CPUs, as well as support for NVIDIA's 10-series GPUs. The Inspiron 7000 will start at $800 on January 5th. Overall, Dell didn't have many revolutionary things in store at CES, but these upgrades sound worthwhile for anyone hankering for a new computer. Okay, so today we want to talk to you guys about some really amazing laptops that just came out at IFA 2016. And these are very future-proof laptops. They're kind of showing us where laptops are going for late 2016, early 2017. They're very exciting stuff. I have my cousin here, Patrick, to help digest the information. Hey, guys. And we want to begin with the Lenovo 910. All right, okay, so now this is the Yoga 910. It's really a beautiful all-around laptop. Very Lapton the newest update of the uh, yoga line so now this laptop is really sleek it folds into a tablet and it has a all aluminum body um, a beautiful 4k uh, display and it's also packing up to the newest seven generation uh, processors 
Exactly, like I said, very future-proof. This is coming out in, like, October. And the main update with this is the almost Infinity Edge display to it. It kind of copies the Dell XPS 13, which is not a bad thing. It has super thin bezels, at least on the top and sides. The bottom is another story. But nevertheless, it's a cool laptop. It also has a fingerprint scanner to be used with the Windows Hello. It's thin, it's light, tablet mode. It's a pretty awesome laptop. As some of you may know, I actually have the Dell XPS 13, and I'm already thinking about upgrading to this laptop just because it has the better hinge, the newer processors, the optional 4K display. It's very tempting. Okay, so now moving on to the next one. This is the um, Acer Swift 7. This is now officially the thinnest laptop on the planet at just under 10 millimeters thick. Now there's also two models of this laptop, the Swift 7 and the Spin 7. The Spin 7 is a slightly different version that has a different hinge that allows the display to spin all the way back, making it a 2-in-1. It also has slightly thinner bezels, and that is definitely the laptop that I'm most interested in. Okay, so now on the Swift 7, it's going to have all the latest features like the 7th gen processor, 8GB of RAM. It's going to only be a 1080p display, but um, I wouldn't expect much more from this being the thinnest laptop in the world. I do want to mention that because the Swift 7 is so thin, you cannot put an i7 processor in there, but the Spin 7 is ever so slightly thicker, just by a little tiny bit, and because of that, you can actually get the i7 in the Spin 7 version. So depending on what you want, if you're either way, you're not going to be like gaming on these, of course, but if you want to do some more like uh, multitasking or maybe a little bit more power-hungry um, work... Yeah, have more tabs open in Chrome, mm -hmm. that kind of stuff. Then definitely the Spin 7 would be the best option. So those are some very interesting feature-proof laptops that caught my attention. Let me know what you think about them in the comments below. You want to potentially buy one of these laptops. They're definitely not gaming machines, but in my opinion, they're very nice ultra books, very good for college and just everyday use. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Big thanks to my cousin Pat for helping me out with this. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Mm-hmm. So case. Hello, YouTube. Today I will be doing a giveaway for the 2016 MacBook. This was released earlier this year and is super sleek, fast and portable. We believe everyone across the world should have an opportunity to enter. That's why we made this international, meaning we will ship it to the winner no matter where they live. The winner will have the option to choose from a rose gold, space gray, silver or gold MacBook. The MacBook will also have 128GB storage. Okay so to enter our giveaway you must first go to the website vionews.com and click on as many advertisements you see, there is new advertisements on each page slash article on the website. The link for the website will be in the description as well. Once you have finished that important step, you must also click on all of the advertisements along this YouTube video. This helps our channel out so much so we can make more videos. Once you have finished those instructions, you must like, share, and subscribe. A full list of instructions will also be listed in the description if you want to make sure you didn't miss anything. Thank you everyone for entering. The winners will be posted on our Facebook page. Good luck and have a great day. The new ASUS ZenBook 3 Deluxe is a refined laptop for professionals on the move. The aerospace grade aluminum alloy used in the ZenBook 3 Deluxe affords a light build and incredibly slim profile. Yet, the unibody construction ensures it feels solid and able to handle all the day's tasks. Note the striking gold accent along the edge. A 40-step spun metal finish leaves an unmistakable and classic design on the rear. The ZenBook 3 Deluxe has the footprint of a standard 13-inch laptop, but thanks to incredible engineering, it has a 14-inch display. That means you get more screen while carrying around less laptop. The Full HD screen is sharp and bright. Between the TV grade contrast and the generous viewing angles, the ZenBook 3 Deluxe will be a joy to use for photos and videos alike. A four speaker array tuned by Harman Kardon produces faithful, high fidelity audio. A dedicated smart amplifier dynamically monitors the power output to speakers. The end result is much higher volume without distortion. Top tier performance and access to professional grade software means you'll be getting things done with the ZenBook 3 Deluxe. At up to 10 hours of battery life, you'll be able to get a busy day of use without needing to charge up. The three USB-C slots are both versatile and powerful. 
Not only do they transfer files amazingly fast, but you can plug them into two external 4K displays at once. A super slim heat pipe works with a liquid crystal polymer fan to keep internals running smoothly. With the ASUS ZenBook 3 Deluxe powered by Intel Core i7 processors, you can enjoy both high-end performance and a premium finish. Visit asus.com to learn more.